To import a model, hit the import button in the toolbar or hit Ctrl or Command I. Browse to the file you want to import. For this tutorial, I'm using a kitchen machine model created and kindly provided by Ramis Vada. As stated here, it's an FBX file. If you want to see all the formats that Keyshot imports, click the drop down in the lower right corner. Select the file and hit open. This brings up the import dialog where you get to adjust a few settings. What you can adjust varies a bit depending on the import format. So this is what it looks like for FBX files. On the location, you can make sure the model centers and snaps to the ground on import, or to keep its original position. This is useful if you for example are importing individual files into a larger assembly and want to keep the model's position in relation to its original origin. In this case, I want to center the model to Keyshot's origin and snap it to the ground. The up orientation lets you choose the orientation of the model on import. This varies from CAD application to CAD application, and if you find your model always coming in sideways, you can adjust the axis here. You can always rotate the model in Keyshot after import, but doing it automatically on import may save you some time. In this case, I know that Y will give me the correct orientation. Under environment and camera, we can tell Keyshot to automatically look at the imported geometry and adjust the environment to fit the geometry. This is something you would want to do in most cases. FBX files can contain cameras created in your CAD or 3D applications as well, and those can be imported into Keyshot. In this case, the file doesn't contain any preset cameras, so I'll leave it unchecked. I don't want to automatically assign materials to the library either, and I don't have any curves in the file, so I'll leave those options unchecked as well. With this, the model is ready for import. Hit the import button to bring the model into Keyshot. Once the model is loaded, you can navigate around it in different ways. Left click and drag to move around the model. Scroll to dolly in and out, and click the scroll wheel and drag to pan. If you don't have a scroll wheel on your mouse, toggle between tumble, pan and dolly in the ribbon to change what happens when you left click and drag. By default, the camera rotates around the center of the entire model. To pivot about a specific part, right click and select set camera target. To pivot around a specific part and zoom into it, Right click the part and select center and fit part. To center and fit the entire model again, right click and select center and fit model or use the shortcut shift alt control or command and right click. To see the parts that the model consists of, go to the project panel and select the scene tab. Here you will find the scene tree that shows the model components. Hover about specific parts to see a preview. Left click to select a part and outline it in the real time view. You can also left click a part in the real time view to outline it and highlight it in the scene tree. Click the eye next to a part to hide it or right click them in the real time view and select hide selection. To unhide parts, click the eye icon again or right click an empty space in the real time view and select show all parts. The model and individual parts can be translated, rotated and scaled. To do so, select the part you want to move, select the position tab below the scene tree and hit the move tool button. You can also right click the part you want to move and hit move selection. Use the move tool handles to translate, rotate and scale as needed. Hold down shift to snap the rotation to 15 degrees increments. Hit OK if you are happy about the changes, or hit the red X or escape on your keyboard to cancel the changes. Fine tune the position, rotation and scale using the numerical input below the move tool button if needed. With the model imported and in place, let's move on and apply some materials to it. For more Keisha learning content, click on one of the playlists below. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keisha icon in the center of the screen.